Hello and welcome from Hike Vision. I'm Dan Hawkins and I look after the product pre-sales. Today we'll be looking at how to set up time and attendance on Hike Central. In this video, I'm going to show you the most basic configuration for time and attendance on Hike Central for people who haven't used Hike Central yet. Then I'll show you some advanced features and applications that some existing Hike Central users might not be aware of. Before we get started, it's worth noting that there is a time and attendance module license required on Hike Central. This you'll need to purchase to start using the time and attendance features. So how do we go about setting up time and attendance on Hike Central? Well, firstly, there are some important steps for basic configuration. The first two of these steps we also discussed in the how to use Hike Central access control video as well but we'll run through them again just in case you haven't watched that video yet. The first step is to add an access control device to Hike Central to allow employees to check in or check out. The device can be a normal access controller connected with a reader, a MIMO terminal, or a dedicated time and attendance terminal. Very simply, go into the add control device, select the IP address, username and password, and then add. Alternatively, you may find the device has already appeared on the list. Just double click and add that username and password again. Adding a person to the Hike Central database is quite simple. In this menu, we can add people to the system, either by importing data from the device or from an Excel file or by adding them through the Hike Central options. In this instance, we will add them from the Add Person button here in the top left hand corner. Simply click this and fill in the usual information, first name, surname, gender information. We can then upload an identification, uh, either a picture or some sort of biometric scan. We hit the Add button. We can enter information like fingerprint from a biometric reader or card information from an enrollment device. We'll need to set which enrollment device that we'll be getting the information from. If we want to use a fingerprint reader, we'd have to select which enrollment device we'll be taking that fingerprint from. or any other credentials like card or other biometrics. Save that information. And back on the other in, uh, information we need to add such as email address, phone number or any other details. Now we need to set our attendance checkpoints for checking in, checking out, or both. In the time and attendance overview settings in the Hike Central web browser, here we can add our schedules. You can see that we can have both check-in and check-out, or we can have check-in only or check-out only. Here you can select which door or which controller you wish to assign that particular checkpoint to. Back on the list, we can see which devices have been assigned those check-in and check-out particular credentials. We have here some which are check-in only and others which are check-in and check-out. Next up on the shift settings, we'll check our timetables. Here are some predefined timetables or we can add a new one. We can select either a normal shift or a man-hour shift. Set the name for your shift and then the work time for schedules. Check in period and a check out period, whether it's earlier than uh, the predefined schedule or later than the predefined schedule. Also, the minimum amount of work hours and minutes if you like. And we can force the system to allow a late or early leave.
we can set the break duration usually down to one hour but can be uh, manipulated and the overtime table can tell you when that overtime will be set from and to red is the color that will show on our schedule when we select that in a second double check all that information make sure everything's correct as you see it again with that allow a late early leave we can set a flexibility period to be either 15 minutes before or after the set in time or we can set a flexible period to be able to let people in just before or after they're allowed to uh, start work click add and that timetable will be saved on the system Onto shift, so now we'll define the shift, or the shift pattern, if you like, of how the employee will be working. We'll call this one test. We want to repeat that uh, shift either every day or once every week. So every week that shift pattern will repeat. So it's either a normal shift or a man hour shift. In this instance, I think we'll use a normal shift. There are some predefined uh, settings there which you can use, so 9 to 5, 9 to 530, 9 to 540, or you can use the timetables that we set on the previous menu setting. In this instance, it's test. Just select the day, so highlight the timetable, and then select the day that you want to add it to. If you make any mistakes, like for example, we've put in the timetable on Sunday, we can clear that and then redefine those settings gives you an overview of what those uh, particular schedules or timetables are then we've got the calculated by first in first out first in last out enable time and attendance status on the device we don't need this because hike sanctuary is running this all for us any holidays in the UK we have those all important bank holidays that we can use or must remember to take and as we can see that shift has been applied here so now we want to assign that shift or that schedule that we've made to our group of people so this is our group of people in this instance it's all the employees from Hike Vision Effective period is from the 25th of May. We'll set that one up. That shift schedule is for the next year. Again, we can check those details to make sure they're correct. And then save that shift pattern. So now everybody at Hike in the UK must now adhere to that particular schedule. Assign that shift schedule. Who are we going to assign that shift schedule to, particularly? Here we can select individuals. set that shift pattern to those individuals shift schedule overview enables us to have a look and see what those individuals have to do for their particular schedule See that my colleague Charlie 
needs to be in those particular times on those particular days. So now we have a look at those advanced features I mentioned in the beginning. For example, you can set up the system to have a regular attendance report automatically sent to you via an email. All you need to do is go to the set regular report tab and configure. An important thing to note is that to send a report via email, you'll also need to configure the sender information in the email settings. On the set regular report, you've got this information, department report, daily report, an overview of those times. You can set the particular time that you want to send that. So more than likely it'll be out of hours on Friday evening when everybody has gone home. You'll want to see who's still there, who's gone home, uh, who's been in, who's been absent that week. Useful for office managers and HR. If you have any email templates, you can select them here. If you don't, you can create a new one in that particular area and then add and save. What this means is that attendance report will go out to whoever's on that list and in, in whoever's in that template. We can also export those reports. We've got this uh, graphical user interface here where you can select department report, daily report, weekly report, overtime report, or absentee report. You can select the time from and the time to details below. So if we wanna check from the end of April to the middle of May, how do we wanna see that report? PDF, uh, CSV, or an Excel? Hit export given those details and here I can see right in front of me the attendance records for all of the employees at Hike Vision. Report display so here we can type out how we want to set that so we can personalize this with a business logo see how we want the date and the time to appear and then we can also colorize those particular subjects i hope you found this brief how-to video useful don't forget to visit our website as shown below at hikevision.com uk if you want more information including additional how-to videos search hike vision uk technical support on youtube and you'll find an ever-expanding library of short guides to choose from. Bye for now.